It's time for Bulls basketball on WGN. Tonight from the United Center. Phil Jackson's back in town and he's bringing Shaq and Kobe the league's most potent one two scoring punch. Bill Cartwright hopes his veterans can slow down the big guy while his young forwards get a taste of the NBA's most dominant center. It's the Bulls and Lakers next on WGN. Impressive United Center on Chicago's near west side. The backdrop for NBA basketball on this January Saturday night. Shaq, Kobe, and Phil are in the house as the Chicago Bulls play host to the Los Angeles Lakers. Hi, everybody. I'm Wayne Larrabee. Welcome to Bulls basketball on WGN. Both teams played last night. Both teams lost on the road and made the trip in here tonight to take on these two combatants and as we bring in Johnny Redker these two teams going at each other perhaps uh, the 180 degrees apart but nonetheless this should be an interesting evening the Lakers drive for another title spearheaded by the two a familiar figure made the walk through the hallways here at the United Center Phil Jackson led the Bulls to six world championships in his tenure here in Chicago familiar face back in the house stay tuned the lineups are coming up on WG Back at the United Center, the Chicago Bulls have won in overtime over the Los Angeles Lakers 106 to 104. Our next telecast of Bulls basketball coming up on Tuesday night when the Bulls host the Charlotte Hornets game time 7:30 on WCIU television. WGN Superstation viewers tune in two weeks from tonight when the Memphis Grizzlies come to town to take on the Bulls. Our broadcast begins at 7:30 right here on WGN TV. The Bulls gutted this one out. Hustle all the way. Ron Mercer with a huge three-pointer. 9.2 seconds ago. That shot would get this game to overtime. Where the Bulls are able to hang on. Tyson Chandler slam. The youngest Bull slams it through. And that proved to be the game winner. Celebration time at the United Center here tonight. For Johnny Redker, this is Wayne Larrabee. Special thanks to our statistician, Doug Coletti. Stay tuned. WGN News is next.